welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, do head over to my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Beth Roars, where you can get some more exclusive content, early access to my podcast, and you can also find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund. This guy has been asked for loads in the comments. He's had such an interesting life. He is so prolific, both as a singer and a songwriter. We'll talk about more of this in a minute, but let's give him a listen first. So shiny, so showbiz. No sabía de tristezas. Oh, tone. Ni de lágrimas, ni nada. Is warm. Que me hicieran llorar. So notice how he has the dynamics quite low without losing tone. And I'm sure he'll move between full tone and breathy tone, but this is a real art. Often when we go down in dynamics, people go to this really breathy, airy place, but you don't have to do that. You can keep that intensity. And that is what draws you in. It's what's drawing me in right now. I'm like, ah, oh, that tone, bam. Yo sabía de caricias de ternura porque a mí desde pequeño Eso me enseñó mamá And then the breath here for effect Eso me enseñó mamá Eso y muchas cosas más Yo jamás sufrí Yo jamás lloré Look how he looks up to the whole audience. Yo vivía, yo vivía muy bien. This is something that they always say in theatre. Play to the cheap seats, play up to the top because everyone in the audience is just as important and it's easy just to play to these people that you can see easily in the front row when often you've got a multi-layered theatre. You want to look out to everyone and make sure everyone is included and you can see that he's doing that. He's looking out to all of the audience. Hey. Yo vivía tan distinto, algo hermoso, algo divino, lleno de felicidad. It's very right, easy, isn't it? Yo sabía de alegrías, la belleza de la vida, pero no de soledad. Oh, and that pause is just so important. Pero no de soledad. De eso y muchas cosas más. Yo jamás sufrí. Oh, it's very emotional. It gets me. It's like squeezing his voice. It's like his voice is on the edge of cracking and this is an important thing that singers can do. It really makes you feel it. It's like he can almost not sing, although he clearly can. And this is a very fine line. You don't want to sound like you don't have control, but you do want to sound like the emotion that you're holding back the tears. And he definitely sounds like that. Oh. Hasta que. Hasta que. Te conocí. And those pauses are like, I almost can't say it. Y la vida con dolor. No te miento, fui feliz. Aunque con muy poco amor. Y muy tarde comprendí. God, you've got such like heartbreak and sorrow and despair. Porque ahora pienso en ti. Hear that? 
Like, there's nothing more emotional than hearing a singer feeling like they're on the edge of cracking, but they just are holding it together because it we've all felt like that that's what happens to your voice when you are emotional and this is what we need to think about when we're trying to put emotion across to an audience what does our voice do in everyday life when we're emotional is it effortless probably not not in this sort of context however there are points where you want it to sound effortless so it's getting that balance correct he is fantastic at this balance is perfect So, he's written over 1,800 songs. Mad. Hasta que te conocí. And then I love that gruffness. He's recorded over a thousand of them, but a lot of them have got to, they've gone to other artists. I love in these great Mexican singers where you get this kind of heaviness of tone in this high mix. So it is really high. You can hear how it kind of pings through. Yet it's in this beautiful mixed place and it has such chest resonance that you could almost mistake it for being lower than it is. But a lot of people, if you try and sing that, it's going to be real like, Ugh! but it doesn't sound pushed or anything. It's very, very, very controlled. And this takes a hell of a lot of work and this guy is an incredible hard worker. We'll listen to a bit more and I'll tell you an amazing story about his life if you don't know it already. Mucho más que ayer, pero mucho más. Yo jamás you can hear that placement. Pero de Oh, I love those screeches so much. Era una noche como esta. Cuando te encontré. He's doing so many things, I'm sorry I keep on stopping because it's so wonderful, but he's using vibrato in different ways. He's using it at the end of a note just to make it a nice rounded end, but he's also using it on these kind of falling notes to echo the sound of crying. So if you think about when you cry and you're like, oh, it's that, oh, this kind of pushed vibrato that falls down. He has just got down to a T. It's so emotional, yet also, you want a bop. Ooh. Oh my god, now an orchestra, this is the best! <laughs> I'm glad I've got my yellow jumper on today. It feels like the right vibe. He's such a performer as well. I love it. So showbiz with his spangles and his dancing. sounds easy for him and that is the sign of good technique when it's easy it's right it's you don't have to push into anything yeah 
Come on, everyone, dance along. I love how this, there's that kind of choir in the back and they're all in their like fancy suits, like, but yet they're still like, woohoo. Okay, I'm going to tell you the story. He has an amazing story about how he got signed to his first record label. So the first time he went to Mexico City, he was rejected. He sounds wicked. I don't know why. Anyway, the second time he went, he got a job as a backing vocalist and then resigned because he didn't pay him enough money. The third time he went, he was sleeping on the streets trying to get a label and he got wrongly accused of stealing and was put into prison for a year and a half. When he was in prison, a prison guard who had heard his singing introduced him to a famous actress. This famous actress then helped him get out of prison because He didn't have any evidence as to him committing the crime and then helped him get sung to a record label and the rest is history. It really shows that the worst things in life can actually be the best things in life and that is something that must have been a really, really horrible experience but it then allowed him to become who he was. So I think that's something that we all need to think about sometimes when we have a really, really horrible experience, maybe it's going to pave the way to something truly fantastic. Fingers crossed, eh? Oh, these rhythms are great as well. She's keeping it really smooth. And then really going for the rhythms. Really, really precise. He's back into that gritty emotional place. Mm. So it seems so much fun at this point. How do you achieve that? Hours of practice. That ease, that ease that he's singing with, takes practice. Sustained A's. Oh, master. I just want to get. See how he's punching those consonants on the. I don't know the language, but on that phrase, if he was like, na, 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 and didn't use the consonants in that and the kira, k, k, it would just be so, it just wouldn't have that bite. He's got that. I mean, I've gone through a journey with this song of emotions, from despair to joy. It's like his life. Oh my god, I would kill to have been there. This is so fun. He's doing just little bits with this improvisation, not too much. Again, perfect.
Oh my God, I enjoyed that so much. I was taken on an emotional journey. His technique was fantastic. And he's just such an interesting man. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.